Hello, my lovely Cancer. How you guys are doing? I hope everybody's well. Cancer, today we'll do your September reading, September 2019. As you know, this is a general love reading. Might resonate with you, might not. But I want to say many thanks for each of you who join my channel. Welcome to Tarot Victoria channel and family. Also, many thanks for each of you who purchased a reading from me. Much appreciation. Also, I must say this. Yes, I am a little more expensive in the reading. is because I put effort and a lot of time and into meditation to go towards your situation. Also, I don't read just the cards. I read your energies. And yes, I do work a little different than other tarot readers. But... Many thanks for each of you who do that and purchase a reading and trusting my services. So Cancer, today doing your reading will pull a Goddess Guidance Oracle card. Also, we'll do our general read. Also, at the end, we'll pull cards from the person in question. How they feel, what they do, what their energy is. Also, guidance for you. What action you should do. And a possible outcome. So stick with me. But let's see here. Guide this guidance oracle card. What is giving for cancer? We have receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. And at the bottom, it's something you might not be aware of or some hidden cycles and read honor the cycles of your body energy levels and emotions i feel here for some of you you might feel like why i'm so emotional why i'm this one and why i'm that take it easy on you take it easy don't feel like this is something unusual things are changing and definitely they are so don't freak out or anything like that. And if people want to help you, if people can give you help, do not say no. But let's see that what that reflects to our reading. Let's see here what we got for the cancer. And let's see what the spirit says. Spirit, give me some insights for my cancers. Those who are watching this video right now, those who are coming to see this video now, here and there. Give me some insights for the cancer and whatever their situation is. Queen of Cups, here you are. For some of you, you need to love yourself or start seeing your self-worth, yes. As Ten of Cups jump again, I will take it. For many of you, you are wanted so badly to be happy. Yes, it is a family situation here. Somebody wants that Ten of Cups and knows that this is the right person. But for some reason, somebody either resists or somebody feels like I'm too pushed to do some things I don't want. Somebody might even say you are too possessive or your love is too much for them. Who, who says that? It's kind of like you, you kill me with your love. What does that mean? But let's see here. As the cars jumped, I feel here you are dealing with a twin flame or you might even live with this person but this person's energy is a little hectic or a little impatient i will say that impatience for something here but let's see here we'll pull one more card at the bottom see what that means knight of cups samba it's I feel here is too watery. Yes, absolutely. Look how many cups are here, my loves. 
Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, King, Queen, Ten of Cups, and Knight of Swords. You might deal here with an air sign, doesn't need to be. But I feel here this person is truly the one for you or you want them to be the one for you. Somebody is very much in love with somebody. Yeah. But I feel here is some other person or people in the equation. That's why the other person might not re be so receptive here. Yeah. Let's see here. Oof. Too many people. Too many people here. In this in this equation I feel here too many people if you are dealing here with a fire sign with an Aquarius we have Aquarius twice or with the Aries Leo or Sag Virgo energy Sag energy again I I feel here the person who you are dealing they does love you they want to be with you, but also they are other people here. And with your too much water, I feel here somebody needs to, to put some spark, some passion. I feel here also you, you have emotions for this person. You want to be with this person, but... I see them cold. I see them. It's kind of that that type of person like I have feelings for you, but I don't. It's a hot cold relationship here. Did you see King of Swords, Queen of Wands, and here King of Pentacles. Something here needs to be balanced. For things to move forward. Also, I see here a lot of people involved in this. For some of you, you might might be knowing that the person you are dealing, they are not entirely for you. You feel something is not right. Things going very slow or... There are a lot of delays. The communication is absolutely off. Somebody feel here it's giving you more. Somebody wants to move forward. It is kind of like you need to make peace with this person. Because I feel here somebody has somebody hidden. It is a hidden person here. Okay, Cancer. Don't get me wrong. I, I see you coupled with somebody. But I also see somebody else in the picture. And that person is hidden and you might not know. And you might give all your love, all your care, everything for this person. And still this person feels like, it is not enough. And always like when a person has a third party, because I feel here somebody is a third party, hidden third party. And that person will always blame for you, even for a very minor thing. That's what happens here. Like you have this person you know this person has something out there is not telling you and you feel something is not right because the communication the expression the attitude is very changed and deep inside it is telling you either they have somebody else either they have something you are not aware I feel here the person you are, it is not because they don't love you. They do have very much a lot of feelings. But also they do have feelings for somebody else. Because I feel here you thought you will have this person for whole life. 
but this person, it is not the one you expect they will do that to you. If that makes sense for you, my loves. Because I feel here, if you deal with an earth sign, this earth sign have somebody else. If you deal with a fire sign, you want to move with that fire sign. But you feel you give more than the other one. Also here, for some of you, a portion of you could go through a divorce due to a, ter a third party and goes very slow or has delays or it's a lot of effort from your side. Somebody doesn't want to give the fair share here. And of course, that's why we have receptivity here. You need people to help you. Somebody needs help from people towards the situation. It's like you're dealing with somebody, you thought you know them the whole life, and now you don't know nothing about them. You know, that, that's, that's the kind of person. But let's see here, what's this about? It's very complex reading. I, I go into probably somebody's energy is very specific here because I see you coupled with this person a long time, could be years, and you thought you know this person, but this person seems to be a different one. And deep inside, I see you wanted this relationship, but at the same time hurts because you know it is somebody else out there. If you deal with an earth sign, the earth sign wants to walk away towards the fire sign. Or you are the one who wants to walk towards a fire sign. Somebody wants to wor work things with somebody else. And if you've been in a relationship here with an earth sign, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that that marriage is kind of stagnant or stopped. That relationship feels like not going anywhere or stopped at that point and is not moving forward. It is absolutely a fire sign here. And an earth sign. Fire and earth very much here. Aquarius energy. For some of you, what I'm gathering most likely here it is a divorce or a delay in a divorce, a delay in a separation. Cancer, you are dealing with a karmic partner here. It's some, somebody you've been dealing for, for lifetimes. And one of you, the one who put the divorce, that one wants to go forward or separation, things like that wants to move forward with somebody else. It is so much bittersweet here. It's so much betrayal. And you now see it. And you might you still have the faith that the justice will be on your side. You still hoping that. But you still keep up the ground. You know, the person who you are, they act the way you are because is somebody else involved. Do not ignore those red flags or the way they are. If they resist, if they say things and this and that. Because it's kind of this person you are dealing with, Cancer. Could be you, flip the energy. Like how I see them, they want the cake and eat it too. They want to win the case. Also, they want to win the other person. And they want kind of leave you with nothing. And you know what this person is intending now. You sense this person very changed. But it's kind of feel like you also hoping. That's why you're holding on so tight. Even you are hurt. It's neither of you. It's like... Somebody is giving you money or something to help you. 
and I feel here you receive help. Also some not really well news coming towards you in a very short and I see you very sad. Whatever it is here, I feel here somebody here in this case, Cancer, is very specific. Don't get me wrong, I wish to give you more messages and if comes, comes. But I feel here this specific case is somebody battling a divorce and came up that this divorce is happening because of a third party, which you were not aware. Somebody always said, oh, you know, I thought this, I thought that, and no, I don't want you anymore, I'm not feeling. But they, it, they do love, and one day it's kind of like so much like two-sided, not two-sided, like how to explain to you, Cancer, it's bipolar person feels. Somebody one day it's one way, another day is another way. You feel like you are done. Also, you feel very much betrayed by this person. And you know, you know what I'm talking about. And this could happen even for two years. One of you, could be you, could be the other one, will have a new beginning with a fire sign. I'm feeling here you are battling a divorce or a separation with an earth sign. But also, I definitely see movement forward. Somebody could have a lot of air or a chorus in the chart or could deal also with an Aquarius. It is Aquarius, fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. We have a Pisces. Also, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very much preeminent here. But I feel Cancer here. You and this person, you will move forward and make peace with them eventually. This month, still this hectic energy. But let's see here some messages from this person. If you are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, how they feel, what they do, and how they are acting towards you, or what's the energy towards you. They are done. They said, I'm done. It's, it's you. You both are done with each other. I don't know why you... I feel here you thought this is a twin flame. That's why you, you felt you could work things out with this person. Very, very defensive. Very backfire energy. Very conflicted individual. Queen of Wands. I feel here some of you might say you are this way. You end up this relationship because of a fire sign. And that could be a big possibility. And they might deny even that. Let's see here messages for you if you are dealing with a fire sign or going towards a fire sign. They do have a lot of regrets. They could be the third party. They they if you are wanted to go towards a fire sign, they they very much regret how was the, in the past. They absolutely love you and they want a new beginning. Here you are. They want you to take action. They might come back if you're dealing with a fire sign. They might come back. If you're dealing with a fire sign and they are in a divorce or something like that, Somebody didn't want to be part of a third party and they want a new beginning and somebody wants to take action. Let's see here 
messages for you, Cancer, what you should do, what Cancer should do. Page of Pentacles. Absolutely a new beginning for you. Star. You wish for a new beginning. You wish to a new, fresh start into your life. Yep. If you are dealing with an earth sign and that person give you Lila, you wish to go towards a fire sign or vice versa. Whoever you are pick. But I feel here you're still hoping for something better for you and absolutely is coming better for you. Aquarius energy we have in all decks. Star, star, and star. Somebody is very hopeful, which is you, Cancer. You are hoping for new, fresh, good beginning, stable beginning. But let's see here the outcome of this situation you are dealing. The outcome for Cancer for this situation the outcome somebody still feel tight with the connection somebody feels like it's still not going this person will still haunt you if you cancer it's it's very strong here because I see this earth sign been in the past with a third party or they have a third party but they don't let you go to one more card one more card but eventually will be a choice made I feel here for some of you who have been in a separation and that got very sour bitter I feel here will eventually will be made a decision towards that. And you will get off from this karmic stuff. And you will get peace. Will be the universe intervention here. One more card, Spirit. One more card. But made you feel very blah. For many of you, you might be very angry of this person, the way they've done to you, how they've done to you. It's a very heavy time in your life. That's why you need help. That's why I get here again. Don't ignore help from others because you will benefit it. And cycles and wreaths, wreath. this is also speaking, something will end the way it's supposed to. Just give it time. And yes, this is a huge, huge lesson into your life. So Cancer, I feel here eventually, this person will move on from you. And as you will move on from them. And I feel here peace will be restored between you two. But it's very hard. Very hard. Very strong minds. You and this person. Very, It's like two stubborn people. And it's not your natural energy. Because you are love this person. You are joyful. But this person, the way they've done to you or proceed to you. That was very nasty. And that's why you got this stubbornness. Because I probably people told you, you need to keep up with them and don't give up. Somebody is saying that to you. If you give up, you lose. If you keep up, you win. And this person, they are playing dirty. Whatever it is, they don't play fair. That's what the cards say here. Yes. Be very, very sharp with this person. And it is okay. Queen of Swords is saying things. Say it no matter what. Don't be afraid to say the truth. And 
be loud about it. So my lovely Cancer, this is what I got for you. And yes, we'll see you next time, my loves. Many blessings. Bye for now.